Hello, my name is Umberto Albarella. Uh, I am a professor of zooarchaeology at the University of Sheffield. And uh, most importantly, I have for many years been a, a union activist. Uh, I would like to say hi and wish best of luck to my colleagues and friends from the Open University uh, for the fight. I know there is an important online rally that is taking place now and I'm very pleased to, to give my little contribution uh, to your action. Uh, as you all know, one of the things we are doing this week is, uh, is to fight for our future and for our pensions. And uh, this is a widespread battle that involves all universities in the country. And uh, it's a very important battle for us in many different respects. I'm not the best qualified person to provide details about our pension fight. But what I do know for sure is that uh, the pensions that we have earned, we have earned them on the basis of money that we have paid in advance on our salaries. And to take such a big chunk uh, of this contribution away from us equates to nothing less than a daylight robbery. And this is what has been happening. And this is why it's important uh, for our dignity that we fight against this robbery. Um, it's important that we remain united because uh, this attempt to take uh, away our pensions is part of, uh, obviously, a much bigger action that uh, is making our current jobs extremely precarious and at the same time they are making our future after we retire also precarious and that is absolutely unacceptable. Um, if we talk about the precarious situation, I'm uh, uh, unfortunately in a, in a good position to discuss this because my own department, the Department of Archaeology at the University of Sheffield, very much a renowned the de department in the, all, all over the world, um, is going to be closed on the basis of an absolutely reckless managerial decision by the University of Sheffield. It's a decision that uh, we have been fighting against as part of our campaign to save Sheffield archaeology. And it's a decision that makes no financial or academic sense. It's clearly a decision that has been made on the basis of various political priorities. And uh, it mirrors, unfortunately, similar attitudes taken by other universities in the country. Um, the situation in archaeology is, uh, is uh, particularly sad because, as I said, our department uh, uh, has a great reputation. Um, it looks like we will be merged in other departments, but I think the connection that I see between the closure of our department, uh, the, the redundancy that has been imposed on many colleagues, uh, all over universities in the country, the closure of other departments in our British universities, is that these, together with the pensions and the four fights, is all part of the same battle that we are all together fighting. And this is a battle for our dignity, for finding again a university that uh, has humanity, and there is where there is solidarity, and we want to move away from the terrible, toxic environment that has been created in the university in recent years. So let's stay together, let's support each other, and let's not be intimidated by people who have actually interests that are very far away from the interests of the students, interests of education, and interests of the country. So keep going and good luck with your fight. Thank you very much for having me here with you.